Hirschsprung disease is a condition that a child is born with where part of the intestine is missing important nerve cells. Those nerve cells help the intestine relax, and so when the intestine can't relax, things get stuck. So a baby that's born with Hirschsprung disease might have symptoms of basically an intestinal blockage where they can't eat, they're maybe having trouble pooping, getting bloated, and in some cases could have a serious infection called enterocolitis. So once we establish a diagnosis of Hirschsprung disease, which is usually done by a combination of an x-ray study and a biopsy, then our first step is actually to try to relieve the symptoms of blockage. The way we do that is something called a rectal irrigation, which is placing a very soft catheter through the anus into the rectum and basically washing the poop out so that the baby can feel better and feed. In some cases, that doesn't quite work and the baby might still have symptoms of a blockage and they might actually need something called a stoma, which some people know as like intestine coming out to a bag. If the baby responds to irrigations and they're getting better, then we have time to plan for what we call a pull-through surgery. So a pull-through surgery is ultimately what we think of as a curative operation for Hirschsprung disease. So the first part of a pull-through operation is to do biopsies, and we collaborate with our pathologist in real time, have them looking at the specimens under a microscope to tell us exactly where in the intestine the nerve cells get back to normal. Once we know that, we know what part of the intestine needs to be removed and what part of the healthy intestine can be brought down as a new connection. The second part of the operation is to remove the part of the intestine that doesn't have the nerve cells, and the last part is to reconnect things. There's lots of different ways to accomplish those things, but most commonly we do this with a combination of laparoscopy, which means tiny incisions to do the biopsies and remove the part of the colon that doesn't have the nerve cells, combined with the part that's all done from below where we make the new connection. After a child has had a pull-through operation, even though we consider that curative, some children with Hirschsprung disease continue to have some issues with constipation, dysmotility, um, and really need long-term follow-up. And so we follow our children who have Hirschsprung disease long-term in our multidisciplinary clinic, where a combination of our GI doctors and us as the surgeons help manage all the things that might come up. 